He's a train maniac. <laughs> you gonna work on trains when you get older? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Try and look inside. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Starting out on a complete circle of Greenfield Village, two and a half miles of track, it will take us 35 minutes to get back here to the main gate. Greenfield Village is divided into several historic districts. I'll point them out to you as we go along. Right now we're leaving the Firestone train station in the working farm district, going into the Henry Ford Model T district. The white frame building on the left is the Ford Farm from Springwell Township, Michigan, built in 1861. The white building on the left is where our founding father, Henry Ford, was born in July of 1863. Going past the Ford Farm, you'll see Main Street, where we have all the historic commercial buildings like the Wright Brothers Bicycle Shop from Dayton, Ohio, where the first flying machine was built. We have Cohen's Millinery Store from downtown Detroit from the 1890s, the Sir John Bennett Sweet Shop, the Herschel Spillman Carousel, and the Ford Motor Company. Right around the corner from the Ford Motor Company is the Model T Loading Dock, where you can get rides in an old-fashioned Model T car. Sarah Jordan Boarding House, also from Menlo Park, New Jersey, where all the single men who worked for Thomas Edison lived. The Sarah Jordan Boarding House across the street was probably one of the first private residences to be wired for electric lighting. It's huge. It's a real town. So this is the Menlo Park stuff here. Model T driving, guys. Right behind the tree. Right there. Do you want to get a ride, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Maybe they Yeah, I'm 
filming. Ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching our first train stop, the Susquehanna train station by the Susquehanna Tobacco Plantation of 1861. Just a reminder here, uh, please stay seated till the train stops. I'll tell you when the air brake is set and it's safe to get up. At this station, those of you leaving us may exit on the left-hand side. Left-hand side only, please. That is where the train platform is at. Exit only on the left. Ladies and gentlemen, it's safe to exit the train. Thank you for riding with us. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll be here about five minutes before continuing to the Smith Creek train station on the far north side of Greenfield. Why are you going so much faster? Well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Wise of Railroad and the First Place Locomotive. For your safety, please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Parents with small children, may certainly your children keep their hands, arms, feet, legs, and especially their heads inside the train at all times. Also, please avoid eating, smoking, or drinking anything except water while on the train. The small red building on the left is the Plimpton House, the oldest American-made building in the village. The Plimpton House was built in 1640, and it was the home to Mr. and Mrs. Plimpton and their seven children. Next is the Ferris Windmill from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, also from the 1600s believed to be the oldest windmill in the United States and the location of our candle dipping workshop today. Then we have the Daggett Farmhouse from Northeast Connecticut, built in 1760. The Daggett Farmhouse on the left also predates the American Revolution. <laughs> States. The Torch Lake was built in 1873 by the Mason Locomotive Works of Taunton, New Jersey. The Torch Lake was used in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to haul copper ore from the Calumet and Hecla mine to Dollar Bay near Lake Superior. And I'd like to thank all of you for coming out to visit us today. Greenfield Village is not affiliated with the Ford Motor Company or the Ford Foundation. We're a separate non-profit organization. We depend on folks like you to come to visit us and using the rides. So thank you once again for coming out to see us today. Next, we're taking a ride on the wild side of Greenfield Village. The Rouge River Oxbow District, largest ongoing wetland restoration project in southeastern Michigan. An oxbow in a river, by the way, is a sharp bend or a turn in the channel of the meandering stream. Since we began restoring the wetland, all the wild animals and all the birds that used to live back here are all coming home. We have a whole herd of white-tailed deer in here. One of them is a real nice big old 12-pointer. If there's any deer hunters on board, well, too bad.